very privileged today to participate in the centenary of His Excellency Haider Aliyev, discussing his life and legacy, the founder of modern Azerbaijan. We can say that Haider Aliyev, whose centenary we now celebrate, would have been delighted to know that Azerbaijan can look forward to its centenary as a free and independent country. 100 years ago, a child was born to be a leader. I'm glad to be among you today, joined together by the name and the legacy of a remarkable leader, the Father Ali. We are privileged that many of us have known him personally, others know of him and perhaps will share their views about his legacy. Haydar Aliyev was born two years after the loss of independence, the first independence of Azerbaijan. He grew up and he spent his career as a very talented statesman and organizer and administrator under a system which was the only one available to him and that was the Soviet system. Had not Azerbaijan had a Haydar Aliyev at the helm at the moment of transition from the failed Soviet Union to a successful modern nation, heaven knows what might have happened here. Because Haydar Aliyev had, uh, he was recognized in this region as a senior statesman. He was recognized and respected by those who knew him. He impressed those who met him with his understanding of the situations and the role of history in the development of the Baltic countries, of the Caucasus, of Central Asia, and of the whole region. I met him more than once in my capacity as the Foreign Minister of Egypt. I was impressed by his analysis, by his vast knowledge of the problems and issues of concern in Africa, in the Arab world, in West Asia, and in the Mediterranean. His national development strategy of a revival of the Silk Road is an important plan for the common prosperity and the development of both China and Azerbaijan. A great man that I had the uh, honor of uh, meeting uh, early in my UN career. And uh, that meeting was solidified by a photo. And I have cherished that photo. Uh, it's been on my bookshelf uh, in every office that I've been in. Uh, because it, it was inspirational, as was that meeting. I've had the privilege to periodically come to Azerbaijan and Baku. And I witnessed how the country was akin to an aircraft that was gaining its cruising altitude. And we are now, uh, I think, witnessing uh, all the good things that uh, can happen when a country is so wisely taken out of a nosedive and uh, uh, raised to a cruising level. The second panel is about building a nation and what are the lessons learned that we can share on this day. Three decades after Haider Aliyev became president of Azerbaijan and two decades after he passed away, Republic of Azerbaijan, the country that uh, 105 years ago, just to remind you, 105 years ago, became the first secular democratic Muslim majority state. What is a nation from my point of view? This is awareness about common future. To be statement, 
means you have a duty, you have a goal, you have a obligation to be able to work on common awareness about common future. This is extremely delicate and only few among the statements and the politicians are able to deliver that. Haidar Aliyev was showing a really specific philosophy. He was extremely successful in that process and this is why he deserved to be founder father of Azerbaijan. And I think here what the legacy of President Haidar Aliyev is so unique is that he was with his people all the way through, first as a Soviet leader when there was no other regime for him to be part of, right? But then he was a take care of his people even back then. And he was the only Soviet Union former sort of leader that I can recall that stood with his people while being still of that caliber that he was during the darkest times. And I want to remind here that in Jan Black January, as it's called, of 1990, when with brutal force, uh, Soviet Union's army, and I call them still Russian army, came in and killed hundreds here, wounded, and then wanted to squash that drive and zeal for independence of this country. He was resisted. He went to Nakhichivan because he was not allowed to stay even in Baku, in his own home country, but he built resistance and development from there on. So what we see in the leaders like that is that at any time when the people needed his presence and leadership, he was there. Nation building comes to fulfilling uh, this concept of shared society based, I think, on, on of course, a geographical location. We all know in the recent history of Azerbaijan that territorial integrity is crucial but also geographical location because you are a nation yourself because you feel belonging to a group but you are even more a nation because you're recognized as such by others and Azerbaijan is really increasingly recognized as a beacon of stability as a trustworthy partner and so I think that there the um, what uh, the, the founding father has laid as a kind of foundation, as a kind of, uh, yes, solid foundation for Azerbaijan. Uh, well, I think he would be proud of what is now the result of his personal leadership and what he contributed in the building of this country and moreover of this nation. Thank you very much. I'm going to tell you a story. One day I spent the whole day with President Ilham Aliyev. Uh, we were at the opening of a very modern stadium, just a kilometer out of here, and we opened also the ceremony for European Olympic Games. And President Aliyev, Ilham Aliyev, was telling me the story. Mr. President, do you know what was here before we built that very modern, one of the most modern stadiums in the world, like this museum? You know what was here? I said, no, that was a mud of gas. That was a garbage. And I just wonder what President Gaidar Aliyev inherited from the falling empire. I tried to see pictures. I tried to look at the museums. I saw some books. Believe me, it was poor, devastated, dirty. It was like nothing. He started from scratch. We've been really blessed to have President Aliyev being our guided tour when he uh, kindly took us uh, uh, to Shusha. When I went to Shusha, uh, first time, I actually, uh, I was um, devastated and I couldn't believe to see such a ghost town uh, where, you know, was, um, was bleeding, uh, no, uh, you know, no life. 
President Aliyev was explaining, you know, his vision and his uh, plans for uh, rebuilding uh, this part, this beautiful part of Azerbaijan. And after that, a few months later, when we went back, uh, you could see the reconstruction uh, of uh, Shusha, for example, because we, if we are talking about building and rebuilding a nation. With the son Aliyev, who really uh, showed the same uh, talents of his father, Azerbaijan is now a uh, country in the world uh, that with a lot of credit, a peaceful nation, a secular nation, and also an important element in many international gatherings. And I'm sure that the national leader, Azar Aliyev, is resting in peace, but also with happiness, seeing that this dream has been achieved by the, uh, by the sun and with the friends around. I wish Azerbaijan uh, all the success in the, for the future. And for the people of Azerbaijan to be self-confident, to understand that they are important and they are respected as a nation. Thank you very much.